So I get a phone call only a few days ago. Uh, Andy, would you like to come down to uh, Princess Golf Club, which is adjacent to Royal St George's, and uh, do some filming with a legend of the game and talk about the nuances of Lynx Golf, amongst other things. How long do you think it took before I decided to make that journey? So it's five and a half hours in the car. I'm on my way. Yeah, good. I don't know what permits required, but we've got a parking uh, thing for Princess Golf Club, which is where we're due to go. That's yes, in New Jersey, car park, Red C. Okay. So, along here? Yeah. Okay, so a bit of an update. Um, it's 20 to 7. I've been on the course at Prince's doing a bit of a recce, getting some drone footage ready and prepped for tomorrow. The day has gone oh, so good. Journey down is fantastic. With one hole left to film in terms of the drone footage, I got a text off my daughter and she asked me what is or whose is the case at the top of the stairs. You know what that means, don't you? I forgot my suitcase. Now, I'm fortunate in that uh, behind me, well, somewhere around there, is my, I've managed to go, I've got my trousers and my polo shirt for tomorrow, but that's about it. Everything else is back at home five hours away. So it's a quick stop at Tesco Superstore. I'll have to get some uh, new undies, I think. What a nightmare. What do you think about them from the first tee? Seriously, I'd rather go on my socks. Medium I want. Or extra large, I'm not sure. There you go, bit of F and F. This day just gets uh, funnier by the minute. I've just arrived in our um, bed and breakfast. We're staying in a place called Broadstairs, which is uh, what, about 40 minutes away from Sandwich. And the guy's been waiting all day because he's so excited because he's got who he thinks is Andy Sullivan, the golf pro who's playing in the open, staying in his B&B. And then I turn up. He's a bit disappointed, I think. Right, it is the morning of the main event and uh, decent nice kip, all good to go. And uh, we are ready for... I need a glove that I've got my... No, in my golf bag. Golf bags, yeah. So, the masters, is there a difference? Is there a... Do you, do you concentrate on Years, it's a lot. I must have at least Do not use that shot. And he goes like this and he goes, Hush, and he smashes that grip to pieces. Hiya! 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 See that? Yeah, I'm not going to be able to do that. Those ones there. Why are you saying that? I mean, look at the size of it. You were my size when you were six. <laughs> right, come on. hundred pounds. hundred pounds and two dozen more. In there. Right. No thumbs. No thumbs. No, no, no. No, no, you won't break. Keep that thumb out of it. No, no, no. What's the matter with it? What language is it? Look at it. Look at it. You ready? Come on. Are you ready? <laughs> if you, when you were getting prepped for a, a US Masters and you're getting prepped for a uh, an Open, would your kind of practice leading up to that differ? Would there, is, there, is there a different concentration on the shot repertoire, for example? Yes, definitely. Going into Augusta, you've got to try and hit the ball a little bit higher. Right. So I always played at Augusta and I made sure I stayed a little bit behind the ball to get the ball up in the air. Okay. Now when I come to play in an Open, I do the opposite. I almost lean into the ball yeah. to keep it a lower flight, okay. a different flight altogether. Yeah, yeah. See the high flight? Yeah, yeah. Look at that. That went so straight I had to lean over sideways to see the flag. It's right on it as well, to be now, fair. Did you see that? Yeah, that yeah. finished that yeah, far from yeah, it. Yeah, it <laughs> you know what they call that in South Africa? The same as you call it here, talent. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Here you don't hit any high chip shot. Yeah, yeah. You keep it low to make the dough. Yeah, you yeah. hit it high, it makes you cry. Yeah, yeah. Why do you think that in Lynx Golf in particular, they've sort of stood the test of time, if you like, in terms of that length. 
Is it because of those conditions? And Well, because first of all, you've got to, which is the whole idea of golf. The only shot in golf where you have a perfect lie and a perfect uh, yeah. stance is a drive. Yeah. Even on a green, sometimes the ball is lower than your feet or higher than your feet. Yeah. But on a tee, perfect lie, perfect, and it's teed up. Yeah. And yet most tournaments don't have a premium on driving. Yeah. Whereas the open, look yeah. at this rough. Yeah, yeah. They That's lost 14 of... members here last year in this rough. <laughs> <laughs> this is a yeah. paradise for yeah, my yeah. horses. <laughs> So you've got to hit it straight, and, that, it and that's the whole idea. Yeah. Keep the ball in play. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's a good question you had there. Totally different flight again there. Yeah, different flight, see? Yeah, fantastic. Completely different flight. Very good. Thank you. Very good. So how would you, I mean, that was my query earlier on. You, you can even yeah. sort of flight the driver down lower, can you? If, All right, uh, let's hit two shots. Yeah. Yeah. Here's a normal shot. We'd be playing at Augusta. Look at the height on that. Very nice. Okay, now, now I come to Lillam and St. Anne's and watch the flight of this. Narrow fairways. Yeah, fantastic. Look at the difference. Yeah, yeah. Incredible. Half the height. Yeah. yeah. So impressive. Yeah. So good. Yeah. Just to repeat, you know what they call that in South Africa now? The same as they call it. Same as they call it here. Cougar talent. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> the last time I missed a fairway, the Pope was an altar boy. Right, Gary, we've got a typical sort of link situation. Yeah. Big, big runoffs and swales. One minute is a good shot. The next minute was sort of 20 yards from the flag and a, not a particularly welcoming shot that I would fancy. But <laughs> So what options have you got again? Well, you see, the average weekend golfer, he's watching the pros on television and they're all chipping with a wedge or a sand wedge. So he comes out here now and he tries to hit this wedge or sand wedge and he hits it and he hits the face and he runs back or he sculls a ball over the green. And remember, look at this ground. It's hard. Look at this. It's hard. It's not soft. Look at this. I mean, the club is bouncing. Mm. And look at this ball. Look at this. Look. Look at that. Yeah, yeah. Still very firm. So now ball, you can't hit a sand wedge off this. Your club will bounce and you'll, you'll hit a terrible shot. Now you take a putter and you stand here like this and you aim it to the right and you give it a... Look at that. There's your par. See? You got your par. So and now take a seven iron. It's so compl It's such a different game of golf. You take a seven iron and you hit down on the ball. Make sure that you hit down on it. Don't hit up on it. See, I hit down. Yeah, yeah. See that? Rat it up. Yeah, yeah. At least you're gonna, as you're, a weekend you're golfer, surface. you're gonna get it on yeah, the yeah. putting surface. Yeah, yeah. Forget about the less people use a sand wedge, even if it's in America or where it is, and a pitching wedge, the better. Yeah. Hit it low to make the dough. You hit it high, it make you cry. Right, Gary, another, uh, another situation that we've, uh, we've put together. We're very much, uh, what would you say, 25, 30 yards. A lot of green is running away uh, in terms of the slope. And there's a bit of undulation between us and the flag. And you've said we've got sort of four options. Yes. All right, so here I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take that sand wedge off hard ground, which I don't like. And I hit the shot. And what is that, a foot from the hole? Yes, it right. is, Right, yeah. okay. But do not use that shot. Now, let's go to the extreme. Give me the wood. The wood. Now I'm going to a five wood. This is better. You take this little club and you just play it like a putter. Stand wider. Just play it exactly like a putter. Look at that, pin high. Same distance, both gimmies. Both gimmies. It's absolutely now, magic. Now, you take a putter, putter, going to the other extreme now. This is what I recommend for the weekend golfer. So you play this putter, and obviously it's just gonna go low by itself. Get down that slope. Now look at those three shots there. They're all a gimme. You've got it surrounded. And now a seven iron. Now this is a shot you need to have quite a little bit of practice with, but I'm gonna hit this off the back foot, hands, hands well in front, weight leaning forward, 
Hands in front, and I'm just going to hit down on the ball. There. Hit down on the ball. Hit the flag. Now, look at those four shots there for the different ways of playing. Yeah. But the one I would say do not use, do not use the sand wedge yeah. unless you play golf every day. Mm. Keeping it low again. Keeping it low. There's a, but that, that's a perfect example. It certainly is. This is our masterclass, yeah. ladies and gents, isn't it, to be fair? <laughs>